Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. On Roku, look us up. We're in the sports section. <coughs> Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, one of the rules that I live by is to bet against perfection. Right? No matter how great an athlete is, no matter how good his resume is, no matter how great his team is or his opponent, Right? I believe that perfection only happens once in a blue moon. Right? So I would bet against the line that would require Usain Bolt to run a sub 965 100 meters. Right? Now you have a line here in baseball. It's game one of the playoff series in the National League between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Los Angeles Dodgers. That to me is priced for perfection. It's the over underline of five and a half runs. Now I know it's Adam Wainwright, the starter for the National League in the All-Star game. Against Clayton Kershaw, your likely Cy Young winner, possibly the MVP. I understand that these guys have both had tremendous seasons are and are among the best pitchers in baseball. But understand an over under of six is low. When you're getting into the fives, that's way too low. Both guys would have to be on their games. And let me just point out, this is not the regular season. This is the postseason where things change. Clayton Kershaw, if you look through his record historically, is not Clayton Kershaw in the postseason. Understand, last year in the postseason against St. Louis, Kershaw had an ERA over six. Right? Understand, too, when we're talking about a five and a half run line. If one team gets to four runs and the other team gets to two runs, you're over the five and a half. If either team blows up like the Baltimore Orioles did yesterday against Max Scherzer, a former Cy Young winner himself, then the five and a half just falls by the wayside. The bet I'm recommending here, and it's a gamble, is to take the over five and a half runs, right? It pays off at a, let's see here, it pays off at a healthy minus 120, right? That's a nice rate of return on a line that I think is outsized. Understand, even the Steven Strasburg versus Jake Peavy matchup, two pitchers with sub two ERAs in their last few starts has a over under of a run higher than this five and a half. That's how unusual the five and a half is. So I like the over five and a half. I think the casino might be giving away money here. Right? I'm not sure if these pitchers are going to be on their games for the postseason. Let's see what happens. By the way, let me just say too, to casual fans, you should be very concerned by the distinction between regular season and postseason. I think Angel fans are finding that out right now, looking at the non-performance of the heart of their lineup. Right, That could change. But just understand, just like players when they take the field for a Super Bowl have a little bit extra air in their lungs. Sometimes they can't even remember the playbook. So it is in the playoffs. If Clayton Kershaw pitches like he did last year against these very Cardinals in the postseason, the over five and a half is a foregone conclusion. 
I'll take my chances. I like the over five and a half runs in game one of the St. Louis Cardinal Los Angeles Dodgers series 2014 opening round of the playoffs. Let me hear from you if there are other plays that you feel give you an edge on the casino I hope you list them here in the comment section to this video so other gamblers can gain from that insight. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.